Virgo Libra. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support, likes, subscribes, views, comments. Thank you, thank you. So please remember, there's no way this can connect to every single person who comes and watches it. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. I read the cards and you decide if it applies to you. So the Oracle cards traditionally for me apply to you and the Tarot cards are the people around you. But sometimes you come up in the Tarot cards as well. You come up a lot more in the readings mostly than the people around you in my readings. So my readings are more life readings about your energy and yourself and maybe what you are um, having struggles in versus a love reading usually. Love comes out but that's not my main focus in my readings. So 13 is climbing. So 13 talks about cats and trees have a slower pace down here so I feel like something may be going really really slow for you Virgo Libras. Feelings. Something to do with feelings. I feel like something is black and white for you. There's something around a family structure where you feel stuck, where you feel like you're being very careful, you're watching everybody, um, and they're watching you. Kind of odd. And then desiring belonging. So a lot of you are desiring to belong somewhere or with somebody, I feel like, and I feel like it's so black and white for you, but somebody else just doesn't seem to be on the same page as you is what I'm feeling. So let's keep going to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck and see what we can find out about you wanting to belong and just having a really emotional time. So Five of Earth talks about somebody who you could have ghosted in the past, somebody who watches you. So three of earth. Three of earth to me is coworkers. These are people who watch you to try and learn something you do, like a skill or a talent that you have or something at work, or a routine that they want to copy. And then the empress. So the empress is somebody who is new beginning, somebody very nurturing and loving. The empress is very strong willed, very independent. And then Ace of Fire. So Ace of Fire talks about uh, an aggressive warning. You're going to get some sort of feeling within you that's going to tell you um, some sort of warning. Let's see what the next card is. And you have the cat, which is taking a leap of faith. And cat magic. Wow. So this is your um, spirituality, religion, your beliefs. You're very grounded. You have a routine that you... Um, present that makes you feel safe and connecting with your higher power and your higher belief system of support. Um, you have your back to the Empress though, if that's you, and I do feel like that's you. So there's an issue with you and this Empress and then Six of Sky. So somebody's moving at, away from a situation. So somebody's moving away from you. You go in your direction you choose something new and somebody's moving away from you. So Nine of Earth is your future looking very successful, very secure. I don't know if this is intimidating to this person or they have people around them um, that don't want them to be with you and are causing conflict. And then Nine of C, another card about you going, taking a leap of faith and going towards a positive, happy future for yourself. So you have two cards for a positive future. Three of Sky. So you have um, your spirituality or your religion has given you some sort of guidance around this third party situation. So you're very aware of that. And there's consequences. So you understand there's consequences for people who involved you in that sort of situation or if you got yourself involved in that situation. So to me it looks like somebody felt true love in this situation. Somebody saw a future with one of these um, persons and that definitely wasn't the mindset. So this is Sky King. So the Sky King is somebody very cold. Somebody deliberately deliberately tries to trick somebody. I see somebody lied about a marriage situation, Virgo Libra. Yeah, they lied. They um, already had stuff going on. They're selfish and they tried to trick you. Shame on them. That is a horrible feeling to um, 
just fall in love or be attracted to somebody that lied about having somebody else. Just yucky. So the tower moment. So the tower moment, obviously, there's um, something's falling apart around it. It's true love for one person in the situation. So four of coins. So you're going to keep your love and your coins close to your chest. You're you're blocked. You're done. You're not opening up to this person, I feel. The lovers is Gemini placement. This could be who this person is at Gemini, or this could be saying um, somebody new, Gemini, is coming towards you, trying to love up on you, but I feel like you're blocked. You're not open to that. Wow, four of wands. So somebody's trying to come around you, loving up on you with uh, marriage ideas in their head or maybe you're married and they're trying to fix it so four of cups so four of cups is somebody who has a lot of regrets um, they spent a lot of time in their past relationship thinking about it they haven't they're not over it so ace of coins so you're going to have success in your coins and your stability you're going to stay blocked and focus on that and not focus on love or um, lover or anything like that the magician so I do feel like a lover could be trying to trick you, Virgo Libra. Somebody could be doing, um, just trying to interfere with your energy, trying to manipulate you. And Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups could be somebody coming in to offer love and an apology, somebody younger than you. Next one is the Hero Font. So the Hero Font for me is spirituality, third eye. It could mean legal stuff, a lawyer, the court systems. And then Nine of Swords. So I do feel like somebody wants to come towards you and offer a marriage. I do see um, somebody spying and wanting to communicate and cause problems in this situation. Two of Cups. Look at true love. Again. So what concerns me is they're coming at you, they spy on you, and they want to communicate. But it just seems aggressive. The Swords are usually like not nice talking. Ace of Wands. Somebody sees you as very attractive, very physically beautiful. Um, didn't we get that up there in the beginning? I think we did. I'm going to look and see. Yeah, there's people watching you. You've got the empress around you if that's not you. So, yeah, you got a lot of people watching you, but somebody, a lot of people see you as very attractive. So, I see a king of wands wanting to come towards you. Um, I see there's some sort of delay, and then somebody else is coming in to offer an apology. Somebody wants to you to compromise and be flexible around money with them. Um, somebody's moving away from a situation, and there's toxic energy. A player coming towards you that is toxic energy. He is not telling the truth, so be aware of that. It's like probably a little bit away, I would say a week or two, but I could be wrong. He could be coming in now because this could be him too right here. Okay, so the first one of the Soul's Journey Lessons, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this is very strong to me because I know a lot of people try and hang on to people for a lifetime. And sometimes people are karmic. They come in our relationship to balance out karma from another life and move on. And when we try and hang on to them, we bring karma back in and then we have to balance it out in the next life. So when people come into your life and they want to exit your life um, to move on and go a new direction, just kind of let go of that energy. Don't force to hang on to somebody because that will be reciprocated to you. Say you want to move in a new direction, new job. If you hang on to people, then the universe will have people hang on to you and show you how tough it is to move in a new direction with people trying to hang on to your energy. So the next one is self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So this talks about how you um, have to have self-esteem in relationships. You know, people can turn on you after you've been friends with them for a while and show you a dark side and really knock your self-esteem down. So you have to go. You don't have to. You have free will to do whatever you want. But it's best to go into a relationship or even friendship, you know, with not expecting anything. Don't have expectations and just see what happens. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So somebody really wants to control. This is a Petri dish to me where something happens really fast. So I do feel like you maybe are going to meet a friend and a new friend and they're just really going to help your self-esteem and you guys are going to really like each other a lot and it could change into love super fast. 
um, very fast, which is scary for a lot of people. So the dragon card for you is Temple of the Sun, beautiful Virgo Libra. This is happiness. Temple of the Sun. You're going towards your happiness. Next one is Revel Revelation. So Revelation talks about something about you, um, gets other people to circle around and communicate something that you communicate, if that makes sense. So there's something about you that other people and you talk about. Um, something that is like mysterious, like elves. This is like the elf, um, elf king to me. So there's something about you that makes you happy that is different from a lot of other people. Um, that makes you special and it draws people that are like you to you. So the next one is prayer. Look at that. And that's purple and healing. So you have a lot of spirituality with you, in you or a lot of religion or both, either or. Take what connects to you. But you, um, here's some sort of cause I feel and prayer. So there's something, an uh, underdog or group that you kind of have a soft heart for that you kind of try to be the king of, like... How do I say this? Um, you, like Robin Hood, he kind of tried to go around and do good. Not that you're taking from the bad. You just, there's a group of animals or people or laws or something that you want to change, you want to do, fix and do good. And that would make you happy. You're going towards your happiness, which is something like that. So Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So they're talking about you have a warrior mode, whatever you're focused on, and you want to go towards, you're very focused and you're ready. You are in stance um, that you're ready to pay attention to what it is you're trying to learn something or accomplish something. And then Drum, Dream and Journey. So Drum talks about um, like a compass to me. I feel like there. this is about energy. You have a lot of energy in you to do whatever you choose to do. Go whatever direction you want to do. You're vibrating in the energy of peace is what the drum says to me. And there's something about you that connects with a lot of people. Because the drum in the book, Angels and Ancestors, it says the drum was used in all corners of the world and that it connects people to um, each other and a lot of different ceremonies and um, religions and stuff like that. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Virgo Libra.